Hello everyone, my name is Avalon and welcome to another episode. In today's episode, Top 10 Dungeon Crawler Games. <laughs> but before we dive into the video, just 1% of you viewers subscribe to my channel. So if you want to support my channel, I really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. And maybe if you love the video, like it. Let's start to the video. Number 10. Wizard of Legends. Who doesn't like a game with a straightforward story with several challenges? Wizard of Legend is the same. This indie roguelike game became popular among gamers quickly due to its thrilling graphics and storyline. Wizard of Legend is a top-down 2D roguelike game. Player in the game controls a wizard and attempts to cross a 10th floor procedurally generated dungeon. However, the primary goal of the gamer is to win the same title as the name. Is that easy? Well, no. The player has to use various spells to defeat mobs. In addition to get the title of Wizard of Legend, the player must defeat three major bosses and final boss. Wizard of Legend is another interactive game with several interactive elements and functions. Number 9. Slay the Spire This game is a perfect mix of deck building and roguelike game. I am here talking about Slay Spire. This game was initially released in January 2019 and was soon considered one of the best roguelike deck building games. At the start of the game, the player selected one of the four characters. Each character has a starting amount of health, gold, and unique ability, and a deck of cards with basic attack and defense cards. The player's primary goal is to cross several levels of Spire to defeat the boss of the end level. Number 8 Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a role-playing action game in the dark fantasy world. The player controls an exile by choosing from seven characters' classics, Marauder, Duelist, Ranger, Shadow, and etc. Throwing the help of the primary character, the player explores larger outer areas and dungeons. The gamer needs to initially battle these monsters and fulfill quests from non-player characters to get experience points and equipment. Path of Exiles offers several play mods or leagues like Standard, Hardcore, or Solo Self Found. The game has a never-ending adventure that can be enjoyed even with your friends and through multiplayer mode. Number 7. Noita. Noita is a popular roguelite game in a world where every pixel is physically simulated. The player controls a sorcerer that casts spells that create himself to defeat enemies. This game takes the gamer to the place in a 2D world where the player needs to battle mythological creatures. Noitia is a single player video game with a unique concept. The game takes place in a magical world where you discover new environments as you explore more. Noitia is another name for a mysterious game with a pinch of action. Number 6. Diablo 3. This list contains several roguelike and roguelite games, but Diablo 3 stands out. Diablo 3 is the third installment of the famous game series Diablo. I denoted it out of the box due to its dark storyline and gameplay. In terms of gameplay, Diablo 3 continues the tradition or elements of Diablo and Diablo 2. However, Diablo 3 is a fast-paced role-playing game with real-time combat and an isometric graphics engine. The game consists of classic dark fantasy elements. The player role-plays the primary character in the game, whose goal is to save the world of Sanctuary from the evil forces of hell. Diablo 3 is an unpeak fictionalized game filled with magic and conspiracies. Number 5. Darksiders Genesis Try Darksiders Genesis with your friends or partner if you prefer multiplayer games. Among numerous roguelike games, Darksiders can you make you addicted to it with ease through its hack slash genre. This game is played in a top-down perspective where the player gets controls of the characters named Strife and War. The player's primary goal is to fight against four horsemen who are harming humankind and spreading evil. The player can save the world with the help of these two characters, in which both characters have different abilities and weapons to fight. In addition, the player can control the characters and switch between them at any time, or they can play the game with their friend in co-op mode. Darksiders Genesis has a dark story and plot for gamers. If you love fantasies, you need to try this one. Number 4. Darkest Dungeon Darkest Dungeon is another popular roguelike role-playing game with a fan base worldwide. The player in the game has to manage a roster of heroes and explore dungeons below a gothic mansion. The primary feature of the Darkest Dungeons is the stress level of each hero. 
which further increases with exploration and combat. Therefore, the player needs to take care of the stress level of the characters as much as they care of themselves. Besides the unique gaming concepts, the Darkest Dungeon offers a unique storyline. In this game, the player experiences the story and deeds of ancestors, fights with spirits, and more. Darkest Dungeon is a typical real-time strategy game that must be noticed and enjoyed like crazy. And number 3. Crypt of the Necro Dancer have you ever tried any roguelike rhythm video games? If not, then Crypt of Necrodancer can give you the best experience in this genre. Crypt of the Necrodancer is a blend of roguelike dungeon exploration and beat matching rhythm game set to an original soundtrack. Crypt of the Necrodancer keeps the player super active as the player needs to move the character set to the song's beat. They get impaired if they miss any beat. Therefore, the player must learn rhythmic patterns that various creatures follow. The game player gets control of a selected character to explore several levels of the dungeon. The player has to move and perform the action on the beat of the music while saving himself and attacking enemy creatures. Enemies drop coins when killed, which get multiplied if you don't miss any beat. The crypt of the Necro Dancer is filled with several rewards and equipment, which keeps the game exciting and challenging. Number 2. Children of the Morta Dungeon games with roguelike elements are the cherry on the cake. The Children of the Morta is a perfect example of this. Children of Morta is an action role-playing video game. The game follows the Bergson family's story, who are Mount Morta's custodians. The game has a total of 7 playable characters who are family members of Bergson family. The player gets control of one of those characters and other characters are unlocked eventually with achievements. The player's primary goal is to traverse several dungeons within the caverns of Mount Morta, which as a result will help the player clear various enemies and bosses. Children of Morta is a modern game with a touch of classic theme. And number one, Boulder Gates 2 Enhanced Edition. Boulder's Gate 2 is always confused between Shadow of M and Enhanced Edition. I'm talking about Boulder's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, a remastered version of Shadow M, an expansion of Boulder Gate 2 Throne of Vault. The Enhanced Edition features the same gameplay as the Shadows of M, with better resolution, compatibility with different platforms, and a few changes in characters and storyline. Therefore, this is an advanced Dungeons and Dragons role-playing game. The game's main quest offers 50 to 60 hours of playing time, while including all side quests, and it may go up to 300 hours. The game lets the player control up to six characters, including one protagonist. Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition lets the player customize the character or choose the existing character. Baldur's Gate 2 is set in a year 1369 DR, where the player needs to battle with cold wizards and shadow thieves. Thank you, everyone. This is it for this episode my name is Ebelon if you enjoyed this episode give it a thumbs up and if you love this kind of content and you want to watch more you can simply click on subscribe button and follow us in this journey my name is Ebelon I will see you in the next episode peace